Hi there, welcome to this video on this channel. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at the Boxer 987.1 uh, and we're going to be talking about rain channels. The terrain channels uh, on this car are really important because one is if they get blocked you can potentially have water ingress into the car and it appears down here. Okay, on the floor wells. Now, here's the problem. On these floor wells, when you look at the, the 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 carpet here it will appear absolutely dry okay and then over here will appear dry even if it's wet right now why is that it's because the the water can run down in in various places and accumulate in this carpet now this carpet underneath this carpet is a, is about one and one to one and a half inches thick of foam so the foam sucks up the water and it can suck up to easily up to three four liters and still appear to be dry now this isn't too much of a problem on the driver's side of the car um, because there's no electrics underneath there but on the passenger side right underneath this car seat is the electrical box which contains controls the mobilizer etc if that gets wet then your car's gonna be dead okay the electrics will not work so what you need to do is be really careful and be aware that if you've got water ingress and, the, and it can come in through the the seals up here okay it can come up through here down the channels it can come in through the back of the car as well but it can come in through a lot of different places so what we're going to do is we're going to look at places where it can get wet and here is also if this is wet then it's a good indication that there's water leaking into your car so where are the rain channels so the rain channels are at the front of the car uh just to you have to lift up the bonnet over there and also on the rear the thing is four in the front and two the rear during winter you and, and autumn all the leaves kind of accumulate into the car and they will stick around and just drop into these channels and potentially clog them up so these channels have to be cleared every so often okay so that's what i'm going to do next i'm just going to go in there and clear these these uh rain channels to access the rear uh, drainage holes what we're going to do is we're going to open up the roof into what we call the service position so just going to pull it back and i'll need the ignition on just a little bit <laughs> Okay, and if you look up, you'll see how much I've actually opened. So I'm going to use a watering can just to pour some water into this area down here. And this will help to clear the channels and just remove any debris from this area. Okay, now there we go. So if you look into it, you'll see the water going through here. Okay, and as you can see, and it just disappears okay I'm going to show you where that water comes out at okay and there you go you can see it all coming out the bottom there so you know that that rain channel is working and it's nice and clear Early on, I said there was uh, two channels, two water channels at the back, and technically that is correct. However, do remember you've got these little side ones here as well. Now they carry the water. I'm just going to show you how they work. There we go. And that basically carries the rainwater away there. And you'll have another one on the other side over here. You'll see it just again from that angle. There you can probably see the water going through. Now, another thing to note when you're doing this is if I go in closer, you can actually see a little bit of rust there. Okay, so that will need to be treated 
at some point now for this i would probably use an airline and just blast that through because it's not good enough you can't get a, a hose into that at that angle so you just can't get a hose into it at that angle so i'd probably use an airline to clear those two so i'm doing the other side now And the water is going down nicely. There's a bit of sludge there, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of my gloves here, sponge gloves or microfiber gloves, just to give it a good wipe down. Just to remove any of that algae which is sitting on there, which has grown up over there. Again, pour water down straight into the hole and check to make sure that it's coming out the bottom on the other side. So we just check it again. And you can see that's a nice clear flow of water. And that's how you do the, the rear channels. So now I'm going to move on to the front channels, which is slightly different. There's four at the front, as I said, there's two at the back for the 987. So the other four channels, three channels, are on the inside of the of this car here. It's so going to pop the bonnet open. And you need to get access to this area here. So unclip, unclip, and lift this up and out of the way. Okay, I'm going to put this safely over here. And the cover four rain channels are underneath this section here, so we're going to remove this. Okay, I'll put this over here. And also this needs to come off as well. Now this clips under here. You can see how it lifts off. Okay, I'm going to move the other section on the other side as well. Unscrew the, the washer bottle cap. Click, click. Lift off. Put your cap back on. In fact, I don't think you need to even do that. Okay, you can keep that cap on. You don't need to remove it. And now, when you come over here, I'll be able to show you the channels now. And there you go, there's one complete with something inside it. So let's have a look and see what that is. Let's see if I can get it out of my finger. You can see what I'm going to do is going to use this uh, hose pipe uh, and I'm doing this to keep away from the electrics over here uh, so we don't get water into electrics I'm going to just pop it into the area where the drainage hole is and then I'll switch it on and a uh, that will just clean up that area and blast through and you'll see the water the water will come out the bottom so I do this in each one um, and the reason for that is because I find that you can get quite a lot of debris in there and although you've got the water poured in like I showed you at the back um this can actually just clog up can be quite a lot of leaves down there okay so that's what i'm going to do for each one of those i'll turn the water and blast them through you can see there's something in that channel there i'm just trying to focus on it maybe get a better view but that looks like debris in there and that's your first one there's water sitting in there so that's a good indication that something's possibly blocked up there's a second channel running there okay and over here again one rain channel there another channel just there okay just to the 
the edge of the battery you can see that quite clearly and I think that last one that we see the fourth one it's quite tricky to see but I'm going to try and try and get one try and get a visual on it and it is just get my finger onto it just behind there okay I don't know if you actually see that just over there so those are the ones we're going to clean now finally just when you're putting all this trim back just remember to tuck it under under this area here so don't leave it where the the rubbers uh, all messed up so let it follow the trim down and just let it all tuck in nicely um, so essentially that's the way that you uh, that's the way that you uh, clean your four channels at the front two channels at the back uh, please note that I've got other videos on the Porsche 987 uh, on my channel please subscribe if you like this thank you